Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog, and a while ago, um, depending on when I put this video up, depends how long ago it was, um, I put a video up about making a jamming device. Now, the jammer I made was very low power, you, you had to near enough be in the way of the thing you're trying to block, but it was to show off the principle and the design. Um, I have had a lot of fucking people, more people than I thought even looked at the channel. Um, not 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 more views than what it got that would be that would be an interesting concept but a lot of people saying you know why are jamming devices illegal is it because the man is trying to keep you down they don't want you to be tracked and like legitimately as people were saying oh this is because they don't want to track or they don't want you to be able to hide um your location fucking no um people who say that don't seem to grasp what a what a jammer does so if you want to remain hidden Generally, you'd try to blend in, and if you think they're tracking your device, maybe leave the device somewhere that you, you know, leave it in the house before you go out to do whatever it is you're doing that you don't want them to know, because a jamming device blasts out radio frequency at quite a high um, power level. Essentially, if anyone's looking for you, and they're following your phone, and all of a sudden your phone disappears, goes off the grid, as it were, uh, they're going to be able to tell that you're using a jamming device and as soon as they do you're very easy to find because from an RF standpoint a radio frequency if they've got a spectrum analyzer or even a radio with a directional antenna you will be lit up like a fucking Christmas tree um, in this area that you've blasted out your RF because it's going to be a relatively um, short area for anything anything portable so they're going to know where you are from that and also, if if the government or some other body was trying to find you, would would they really just rely on using your phone? Surely they would use multiple techniques, like, I don't know, um, this was the last cell tower that your mobile phone was connected to. Okay, so he was in this area. So let's look at all the CCTV cameras in that area. Can we see him? Um, or failing that, okay, do we have any people out in the ground who can look for them. There are a lot of easier ways to, to track people than just using your phone and using a jamming device. You're, If you're American, you're lit up like the 4th of July. If you're British, you're lit up like Blackpool Illuminations, basically, from a RF standpoint. So why are they actually illegal? Well, because of the nature of them, they are inherently indiscriminate in what they block, apart from that frequency. So if you have a 2.4 gigahertz jammer, which something like this, which I'm making, I need an amplifier, but um, it will jam 2.4 gigahertz through, possibly to 2.5, depending on, on the range that you go for. So anything in that frequency is jammed, regardless of whether it's what you want to jam or not. So if you, sake of argument, go near a construction site and you have a 433 megahertz jamming device and you want to stop someone from opening their car, you'll do that, that'll work fine. But You've also stopped all of the remote control uh, systems in that site because a lot of them work on 433 megahertz. Um, and and that's, that's the reason why they're so, um, so heavily policed because you don't know what else you're affecting. It can affect, um, if you're near a hospital, there's sensitive equipment in there that can be affected by a jamming device quite severely. Um, if you think um, MRI, CT scan, stuff like that, all use radio waves to uh, get an image. If you have a jamming device that's operating in that frequency, you, that's fucked that scan. The, they'll get no useful data out of it. They have to run it again. That's expensive, the cost incurs. It also means um, for planes as well, which is the big dangerous one, um, a jamming device at high frequency is line of sight, more or less. And so if it's up in the sky and you have that jamming device on the ground, and you can see that plane, that signal's probably gonna hit it. And that could obviously interfere with a lot of its uh, equipment. So there's, they aren't banning them because they wanna keep track of you. It's because the, the um, devices themselves are so indiscriminate. So to sum up, one, if the government wants to track you, there are far better ways of doing it. Two, if you use a jamming device, you'll be more visible as soon as they twig on that you're using one because you'll be 
lit up like a Christmas tree. And third and finally, there is only one true way to protect yourself from signals.